warning, all of the driving in this video is so disastrously appalling it will make some members of the audience angry and offended. Viewer discretion is advised. I've been playing Grid for about two weeks now, and I've come to the conclusion in that time that the Caterham SP300R is the worst car in the world. So away we go then in a car that looks like it's come straight off the set in Star Trek and onto the grid in Hockenheim. But we're going towards turn one now. I'm in seventh position. Things are going okay. Oh dear, we've got three abreast there. I've been pushed wide and I'm out at turn one. That's not ideal at all. Oh dearie me, I just smashed head on with another car that then just vanished completely. I'm starting to think this is Star Trek. Well, I've lost all authority over the rear end again. And oh dear, I've gone walkabouts into the grass. I've hit another car. Oh dearie me, this is this has gone horrendously wrong. I'm way down the field. I'm, I'm almost in last position. Uh, I can't seem to actually do a corner in this car at the moment, but hopefully things will improve. No, no, things won't improve. I'm in the, I'm in the, I'm in the barriers again. Getting a bit wound up now, but I'm going to try really hard with this corner coming up. Oh, for fuck. Coming towards the end of lap one now, having not done a single corner correctly all lap. I am tremendously cross, and I've spun out again on the final corner. And I think the only positive I can take from that is that the inward 112 metre drift got a cracking reaction from the crowd. No, I'm not using that joke again, but I can't even drive the car in a straightforward direction. I mean, look at this, I'm just completely wayward 100% of the time. This is getting embarrassing now. At no point during this race have I had any sort of restraint over the supercharged monster pulling this car along. I mean, look at that again! In the barriers. Embarrassing. Completely and utterly embarrassing. And who's this? Oh, oh my god, there's another driver. There's another driver having as much trouble as I am trying to control this monster of a vehicle. And oh, dearie me, we've smashed each other. Right, here we go. Last corner again. You know, I think I've worked out why there are two seats in this car. It's because when the first driver rage quits, there's someone there to take over. Right, now we're coming up to my bogey corner, so this usually goes drastically wrong, and I've held it. No, I haven't. I've lost it. And yet, I cannot do that corner at all. I mean, whatsoever. And oh, dearie me! Some guys knocked half the arse of my car off. Things have got... Things have got very desperate very quickly here. I'm going extremely slowly now. I can't even, I've got no control. Oh, dear, oh, dearie me, the whole, the whole, the arse of my car has completely fallen off now. This, this has taken a pretty dramatic turn for the worse here now. And this, this car's pretty close to undrivable. I think, actually, I think I'm being lapped at the moment. I'm, be, I'm, I'm in 12th position. And I'm, oh, God, my tyre's gone now. Oh, this is undrivable. This is officially undrivable now because my tyre's gone, my rear wing's gone, I'm being lapped. And I think I'm just going to consider this race a write-off, to be honest. I'm just going to write it off like it never happened because this really is shambolic. So in summary, the Caterham SP300R? No. The Caterham SP300 undrivable.